practical for 2022 examinations. For the practical, we require the following chemicals. We need sodium thiosulfate, which is Na2S2O3. We also need iodine. Iodine crystals is here. It's a bit poisonous and irritating to the eye. We also have this potassium iodide that is also required for the titration. We need a uh, soluble starch. This soluble starch is a starch dissolved in water, boiled for like two, three minutes. We need uh, distilled water, which is here. And I need um, a titrating apparatus. Simply, I'll just go through it. This is a funnel. We have our test, our burette, our pipette, our little stand, our dropping pipette, and then we have a wash bottle. And in this polymetric flax are my reagents. This is A, and this other one is B based on the prescription. Now the A is mixture of um, ammonium, sodium, sorry, iodine and potassium iodide. The grams are already given in the description. The sodium thiosulfate is the base and it is already filled here. This is a back titration. So the sodium thiosulfate is already prepared this is it it's you can see the colorless liquid we dissolve it in one gm cube i think 24.82 gram was measured and it's it's placed in the burette and then our pipette we are going to use our pipette 25 minute pipette to pipette some amount of the iodine mixture plus the potassium iodide the iodine and the potassium iodide are mixed together to produce an ion called potassium triiodide and this potassium triiodide is supposed to react with the sodium thiosulfate and the reaction is going to continue but towards the end our starch indicator will be introduced some of the notices you need to make is that you need to know how to prepare the soluble starch you need to also place the thiosulfate in the bread and the uh, iodine the potassium iodide with the iodine in the conical flask. So I'm simply going to prepare 25 mil of the base. Oh, it's actually our base now. And this is a redox flask. Alright, so I'm going to pass this into a conical flask, which is already rinsed. And the conical flask, I'm going to put, we're not going to put the base yet. The burette is already filled with the sodium thiosulfate. So, we are going to allow that for some time. Alright. Yeah, I'm there. So, the titration is going to be thiosulfate against the triiodide ion here. And we are just going to do it gradually. Until the color becomes lighter. And the color becomes lighter, you can make it a little bit lighter. So you can see it's now yellow. And then you have your dropping pipette and you have your soluble stars that have been boiled. Freshly prepared today. Then you're gonna drop some, add some drops, but you need about five mil in this particular reaction. When you drop some quantity into it. This is just for color development, so the quantity does not affect the reaction. You are going to have a kind of blue-black coloration. Then we are going to titrate this gradually, very slowly, because the color change is going to be very sharp. And we need only very small quantity, so we are going to titrate it very slowly, very slowly, very slowly. And then you have a colorless solution. And this is the end point. You can now record your titration values. This is just the summary of the titration processes. Major emphasis is that please know the amount of iodine you are putting and the potassium iodide well prepared. It is advisable you try to find a suitable iodine which can dissolve in potassium iodide. Generally, iodine dissolves in potassium iodide. Also know that sodium thiosulfate that you see is of uh, analytical grade and it is also dissolved properly following the normal guidelines. Also know that your starch should be prepared in a way that
the starch is very soluble. As you can see, my starch is very soluble. You can see it is just viscous. And that's how we prepare it. Uh, thank you for listening.